Where you are now, there is war, suffering, death. But you imagine there must be a place where that is not true. Somewhere there is safety. Somewhere there is peace. Somewhere there is sanctuary. Each episode is an interstitial game published by Emily Shu in 2019. Designed to be played with characters from existing RPG campaigns, the game is a tool to provide those long-suffering PCs a chance to catch their breath. According to tvtropes.org, a beach episode is often deployed in serialized media to add a moment of levity, to slow the plot down and let characters have a little fun in the sun before getting back to the weighty subjects of their stories. The concept is something of a no-brainer. I think plenty of long-running campaigns could do with the chance to let your traumatized OCs dip their toes in the sand. But its opening page is something I want to dig into further, because I think Beach Episode's safe exterior comes into conflict with a relatively new notion in the gaming space. For people new to the channel, Emily Shu is my favorite tabletop designer, and I highly recommend you check out their Itch.io, or at least the videos I've made about their other games. But one of the reasons I think Shu is so good is that their prose is out of this world. Beach Episode, one of Shu's earlier games, is no exception. And while I steeped in their even, pleasant descriptions of the shoreside town of Eden, I picked up one of the game's core tenets. Here's the truth. Nothing bad can happen in Sanctuary. When I think of a place with a magic inn, owned by friendly lesbians where nothing bad can happen, I immediately think of the genre of cozy games. A GamesIndustry.biz article by Colin Campbell interviewed three game developers to collect their thoughts on the emerging genre, and it gave me a rough definition of what a cozy game even is. Cozy games might include such titles as Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, games which employ bright colors, pastoral scenery, and a variety of interesting neighbors to interact with while building up some measure of stability, often through simple, repetitive tasks. The article mentions that most games categorized as cozy on Steam did not emerge until after 2020, which implies the genre blossomed as a reaction to the isolation and destruction left in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak of that year. Across cozy games, there is absolutely an emphasis on non-violence, a marked departure from the first and third person shooters that are often blockbusters of the medium. That's not to say that cozy games don't have violent elements or conflicts in them, but overall, Combat and confrontation are not primary pillars of interaction. So when you read that tenet, that nothing bad can happen in Sanctuary, you might be inclined to believe that Beach Episode falls into a similar, cozy space. Shu goes so far as to state that detonating a nuclear bomb above the inn will not cause harm. The rules of this world simply do not allow destruction to come to Eden. But I do not think this is a cozy game, and in fact, I think it's doing something that runs directly contrary to what cozy games try to achieve. Sanctuary is not just a zone of protection, it is specifically a place of healing, and it's this emphasis on healing alongside that provision against harm that I find fascinating about this game. The actual mechanics of Beach Episode are simple and straightforward. Players establish what their characters believe, bonds, and what narrative concepts, truths, they hold most closely. These act as roleplay pillars and tentpoles. You'll structure character scenes around these beliefs and gain XP as you do so. That XP can be spent on problems, which are representations of a character's emotional state, their progression along their narrative arc, or otherwise how they're dealing with something in their life. Problems are split into five parts, each a short statement about where the character is at emotionally, with five being the most dire point in their journey. Players may spend XP in order to go backwards on their problem track, representing how their experiences have helped them process their feelings. This base mechanic is interesting to me because I think it's a neat way to externalize the ways an RPG character has developed along their journey. It forces players to confront the intrapersonal state of their characters, and take an honest account of how the events of the campaign they hail from have impacted them. The examples also suggest how Shu anticipates players will quantify these experiences. Guilt, hate, and isolation are not exactly pleasant feelings, but they are the feelings one might expect from a character that's been put through the ringer. It's a common RPG maxim to play your character like a stolen car, and while I do agree with that bit of advice, it makes sense that those characters would end up with incredible trauma. At least for me, making characters have a bad time is part of the fun of playing games. I like my personal life to be boring, and I like to make my imaginary little guys have the worst possible time. 
And the draw in Beach episode is to take a step back from the roller coaster of emotions that come from the dramatic life of an adventurer or a cyberpunk or whatever, to actually talk about how your character is dealing with all that's happened to them. When you're writing anything, a short story or a novel or a TV script, likely the first piece of advice you'll hear is show, don't tell. But that's a really hard thing to do in the medium of role-playing games. You can show how a character is feeling through their actions, but the other players at your table will never have the interiority and understanding of how your character is dealing with the death of their partner or the war crimes they committed unless you sit down and chat about it. In my opinion, interiority is best told through conversation, and Beach Episode is a game explicitly about hashing those things out, with the added bonus of doing it while skiing or playing volleyball. But this brings me back to the cozy game suggestion. I feel that cozy games are very interested in avoiding or ignoring difficult conversations. They're simply not a genre that wants to engage with personal development. And to be clear, I know this is a broad generalization. Shane from Stardew Valley has a whole arc about dealing with his alcoholism. Animal Crossing's entire conceit is based around getting out of extreme debt. But broadly, the way you proceed through cozy games, to quote Bettina Bodie of Leeds Beckett University, is to use repetitive tasks that create a steady routine, a comparative lack of time-critical challenges creating a sense of safety. Bodhi argues that cozy games offer a power fantasy that amplifies our sense of agency as we master the environment. I feel cozy games give players power over their communities, allowing them to have absolute control over external challenges while neglecting internal emotional problems. Like, the Stardew Valley Farmer and the Animal Crossing player are not just tabulas rasa, their character arcs are less curved and more jagged, aligning precisely with their in-game economic fortunes. Look at those glassy, empty eyes. There's nothing going on behind them. By contrast, Beach Episode does not allow players to affect the world around them. Characters, those who often arrive in Sanctuary after journeys of incredible violence, cannot use the powers that gave them such agency outside of Eden to make a meaningful change within the city limits. Beach Episode is only about interiority. The only power you have is the power to deal with what you've done. In fact, the game ends with this acknowledgement. Steal yourself to descend the mountain. Eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow, you have to live with yourself. Furthermore, you can't really ever get rid of your problems in the same way cozy game NPCs can have their stories finished by giving them 100 gold star mayonnaises. Even if you manage to move all the way down on the problem track, reducing your guilt to zero, it doesn't go away entirely. Instead, it becomes a new bond, a new way of understanding the world through your character's eyes. These bonds don't have to be correct, or even healthy necessarily, but they're a way of taking your problems and coming to a place of equilibrium with them, and saying, well, this is now just a part of who you are. I think this is a really cool perspective to have, not just as a character building tool, but as a method to move through the world. I've had plenty of weird and bad experiences, and I'll be the first to admit that the ways I've dealt with them haven't been entirely healing or positive, but I have, on the whole, faced them, wrapped them into something that I understand, and carried them with me, warped by time and introspection and conversations with friends, into a package that is manageable instead of burdensome. I think about that old prayer, God give me the strength to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Beach episode wants to give you the space to find that acceptance, allows for the chance to earn that wisdom, so when you descend the mountain and return to the places that you brought your problems from, you have that courage to change what you can. You do have to leave Eden, but you have to live with yourself too. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate anybody who takes the time to see what I'm saying about tabletop games. Uh, if you want to help me keep the channel going, you can send me a tip at my ko-fi in the video description. My background picture is liquefied image by Adrian on Unsplash. And my profile picture is by Eater Outsider on Tumblr. If you want to find more of my work, I'm at AAVoy on Blue Sky, Monster Factory fanfic on Tumblr, but my main site is aavoid.com, where I talk about games and writing. I also do another podcast, Mortified the Friendship Quest, where me and my friend Layla do critical media analysis. Uh, our next episode, by the time this video goes up, will be about the medical drama House MD, which um, I think is pretty much the best TV show of all time. 
Uh, but I will see you all next time. Thanks again for watching. Until then, see ya.